Hi everyone, my name is Jessica. And I'm Stephanie, and we're so excited to tell you about our research study. We're testing whether a treatment known as brain stimulation or repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation, RTMS, may improve symptoms of depression and suicidal thinking in transition age youth on the autism spectrum who experience depression. We're also using brain imaging to take a picture of the brain before and after treatment. We use the brain picture to identify a specific part of your brain that the treatment is targeting in each individual. And um, we also use them to help us learn more about how RTMS works. First, we'll tell you some reasons why we're doing this study. Improving mental health and adapting mental health treatments for use in autistic people is a top research priority identified by clinicians, researchers, and members of the autistic community. Depression is at least twice as common in young adults on the autism spectrum compared to neurotypical peers. When depression co-occurs with autism, people can experience more difficulty socially and increase suicidal thinking. Despite the urgent need for effective antidepressant treatments, there have been no rigorous studies testing whether antidepressant treatments work when depression co-occurs in autism. However, some research has indicated that autistic people may experience more side effects with medications that are commonly used to treat depression. This research will help us better understand how RTMS, a treatment that has been proven effective against depression in neurotypical populations, is also effective for autistic youth. What is RTMS and why use it to treat depression in young adults? RTMS involves using a magnetic coil to direct a series of magnetic pulses to the scalp to stimulate brain cells just beneath the brain's surface. RTMS directed at a region towards the front of the brain, known as the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, is an approved treatment for depression in Canada. A research study that we previously conducted showed that RTMS was well tolerated and improved symptoms of depression in a small number of autistic youth and young adults that participated in the study. Our study will recruit a total of 80 autistic youth aged 16 to 29 years old who are also experiencing depression. Our study uses a blinded randomized control trial design. This means that half of the participants in our study will be randomly assigned to a group receiving active RTMS treatment and half will be randomly assigned to a sham group. The sham group is like a placebo group that gets a treatment that feels and sounds similar to RTMS but does not involve stimulation of brain cells. Participants in our study have a 50-50 chance of being randomly assigned to either treatment group. Each participant gets a code when they're assigned to a treatment group. The RTMS machine uses this code to deliver treatment and switches automatically between providing active or sham RTMS based on the participant's individualized study code. This means that the study staff and participants are all blinded to group assignment. That is, neither the study staff nor the participants are aware of who is receiving the real versus the sham treatment. This is to minimize the chance that bias influences the results of our study. Having a placebo group is a necessary part of the study to test whether RTMS actually improves symptoms of depression. Ultimately, we hope that our study will improve awareness about the need for treatments to help autistic youth with depression and improve access to RTMS as a treatment option. Let's tell you more about what the daily treatment sessions involve. You'll be going to the Temerity Center, located at CAMH. Once you arrive, your technician will meet you in the waiting room. They'll bring you to the RTMS treatment room, which has a big window and a comfortable chair. The technician will make sure to explain what will happen to get you comfortable. You'll also get earplugs and block out the loud clicking noise made when the stimulation is applied. Then the technician will place electrodes on your head. The images we get from your MRI scan will help make sure the RTMS magnetic coil is positioned directly over the frontal brain region that the RTMS will target. They do this using a powerful program called BrainSight. All you need to do is sit still and relax while the stimulation is being applied. This will take around 10 to 15 minutes and you might feel a light tapping or twitching sensation on your scalp. At the end of your visit, the technician will ask you to report any pain or discomfort you experience using a pain scale. You'll repeat these visits 5 days a week for 6 weeks and have a total of 30 RTMS treatments. Then you'll have your second MRI scan and 3 more follow-up visits. Once these are done, your time in the study will be complete. In the fall, our study was funded by a CIHR project grant. We received CAMH Research Ethics Board approval in December 2020. Our study recruitment began on January 2021, and our trial is now registered with clinicaltrials.gov. If you're curious to learn more, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We look forward to hearing from you. Bye!